Welcome to the NCAA Final Four simulation on College Hoops 2K7 for the PlayStation 3. Brought to you by Game Invasion and Comcast.net. I'm Scott McGill. And I'm Lee Rusikoff. And nothing gets the mascots more excited than a computer simulation of the Final Four. Game 1 pits the Georgetown Hoyas versus the Buckeyes of Ohio State in a battle of the big men. And those big men obviously are Roy Hibbert and Greg Odin. My heart here is with the Buckeyes and Odin, but my head's telling me that Georgetown's defense, along with Big East Player of the Year, Jeff Green, is going to be too much for Ohio State to handle. So let's get right to the game. Georgetown took their first lead on a three by number 34. Yeah, I'd like Georgetown's chances a lot more in this game if they actually had a player wearing the number 34. Close game, winding down the first half. Odin with a huge rebound and put back to tie it up. With the way Georgetown plays perimeter defense, if Ohio State has any chance of winning this game, Greg Odin's going to have to dominate the paint. And early on in the second half, Odin with a huge rebound to start a fast break. Is that the Georgia Dome or A1A? Ron Lewis with a heck of a drive to the hoop. And the likeness of Greg Odin is pumped. You know, Scott, Hibbert's listed at 7-2. But with the mini afro, he's at least 7-3. And Hibbert gave Odin fits all day, as did Jeff Green, who drops in two of his game high 24. Jeff Green, the least talked about top five pick in the country. This guy can play ball. With 53 seconds left, the Buckeyes pull within three. Despite a free throw being in the highlight reel, this actually was an exciting game as Ohio State has the ball down just three and Conley gets the shot, but he comes up just short. Ohio State loses to Georgetown 86-83. Conley's had a great season, a better tournament, but came up just a tad short on that final shot. Georgetown's headed for the finals. Now what everybody wants to know is, was this Greg Oden's last game at Ohio State? It certainly was the last game for the simulated Greg Oden. As for the real Greg Oden, he's got his hands full with Georgetown. Saturday's game certainly won't be as high scoring as this simulated version. But in the end, Roy Hibbert, Jeff Green, Jonathan Wallace, too much for Ohio State to handle. And who will match up with the Hoyas in the finals? Will it be the UCLA Bruins or the Florida Gators? This should be a great mashup. UCLA is known for its lights out defense, while Florida is known for just being really, really good. The real question is whether UCLA's little guys can handle Florida's big men in the paint. And we'll find out right away as Aflalo drives the lane to put in two. Sweet sassy molassy. Aaron Aflalo might be a little guy, but he's got a big heart as he takes the ball right to Horford to give UCLA the lead. And here's Westbrook draining a three to put UCLA up towards the end of the first half, forcing the Gators to take a timeout. Get a T.O., baby. I think Westbrook hit that from Decatur. That timeout, just what the Gators needed. Dan Werner drains a three to give Florida the lead. The one thing you know when you play Florida, you can't stop Dan Werner. You can only hope to contain him. UCLA started the second half off hot as Aflalo puts the Bruins up two. But even Aflalo can't hold back the Florida title wave, as only Noah has an arc. And that's as close as UCLA would get as it was all Florida the rest of the game. Ooh, that was hot. Walter Hodge with a little backdoor action. Florida's inside game was just too much for UCLA. Chris Richard, boom, goes the dynamite. Florida runs out the clock in their route of the Bruins. Lee, can we really expect the Gators to score 107 on the Bruins? Look, I give College Hoops 2K7 all the props in the world. Great graphics, sick game. But if anyone scores 107 points on Ben Halland in UCLA's defense, I will walk home from the Georgia Dome. And we are just moments away from crowning a simulated national champion. Will it be the Georgetown Hoyas or the Florida Gators in a repeat? I can feel the excitement in the air. Scott, look at my arm. Simulated goosebumps. And Florida gets off to a hot start on both ends of the floor. Here with the lay-in by Green on the fast break and a sweet block by Noah. Get Noah a job at Vermont Teddy Bear. That kid knows how to stuff. And Horford finishes up the 14-2 run with the weakest dunk in video game history. And then Jeremiah Rivers nails the three to keep the Hoyas in the game. Any team with both Doc Rivers and Patrick Ewing's sons on it is not going to be easy to beat. Corey Brewer gets the Gators off to a great start in the second half. Brewer must love himself some donuts because that kid is dunking. Down by 15, the Hoyas move to the outside game. Number 34 knocks down a couple of threes to bring the Hoyas back within six. I'll say it again, Scott. I'd love the Hoyas' chances a lot more in this game if they actually had a number 34 on the roster. Late in the game, Lee Humphrey hits some big shots from the perimeter. Leaving Lee Humphrey open is like digging your own grave, and that's exactly what these simulated Hoyas did. That makes the Florida Gators your 2007 virtual national champions. You know what I love about college basketball? 
the excitement on the players' faces after winning it all. I'm virtually excited myself. So Lee, now that we've crowned a national champion, how do you see it going down this weekend? Aside from the high scoring, I see it playing out pretty much as we saw here today. Florida's clearly the best team, and I think they'll play Georgetown in the finals. So I think this is pretty accurate. Well, that wraps it up for us. For Game Invasion and Comcast.net, I'm Scott McGill. And I'm Lee Russikoff. See you on game day. 